So what were we talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about below. So verify that if you sidewalk right, even if the first hit hits you, the second hit whips, and there's a 11 frame gap, right? If you sidewalk right though, if you sidewalk to Fig's right, if you sidewalk to, if you sidewalk to your right, Fig's left, uh, it whips completely, but you have to, the first hit whips, but you have to duck the second hit if you want to punish it. Otherwise, it's only negative two. Weird move, very weird move. But the fact that it has those, uh, that sort of weird inconsistent tracking is an issue too. But you can't really step it. Yeah, you can't step it. That recovery was pretty fast at high. I suppose he has to, otherwise he wouldn't be able to juggle out of that, right? having a lot of trouble. There it is. I got interrupted before. I'm not starting from 1 plus 4. Video games. I've been doing this for two hours. Oh. Yeah. Alright, um... No, I'm not joking. I started this a while ago. <laughs> uh, here's a short of it. Surpr you know, the moves that are good are moves that you probably already know are good. This, uh, the moves that are bad are probably moves that you already know are bad. Like this whole string is probably not the best. Uh, this thing is all right because of the cancel, but <clears throat> it's not amazing. It's just, uh, you gotta use it, to make it good, you gotta use it along with everything else. You can't rely on this as, like, a primary mix-up tool. It's one of those things you throw out every once in a while to vary up your mix-ups so you're not too obvious. Because Feng has a lot of shit. I mean, he could play it pretty simple, too, with his down forward one, fish hook, and stuff like that. But, yeah. <clears throat> if you get the second, it's a connect only. It's the same as getting both to connect, obviously, plus six. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that stream. Next is forward two. All right, here we go. So forward two, there's only one string attached to it. Forward two, one, two. That's the whole string. On counter hit, it all combos because the first hit does that shakeable stun. Right. But, if I'm not mistaken, as long as you don't delay the second hit, you cannot recover in time, right? Yeah, and as long as the second hit connects, the third hit combos. So this is a hit, uh, counter hit confirmable string. Oh no, wait, I was wrong. You have to not delay it. I delayed it there. Okay, so the way you confirm this is you get a visual here. So you have to actually look for the visual, delay the second hit, do not delay the third hit. If you delay the third hit, it does not combo. Okay, so what I'm getting here is since you can't really... can. So you're not confirming after, you're not confirming on the second button, you're confirming on the third button. You have to input the second button to confirm the third button here. Otherwise, you're not going to get it in time. So you have to look for that stun. So is there a random counter hit? There is, actually. 
So what you do here is, if you want to practice this, random. The thing is, it's not comboing, but I don't know if that matters. If, that, if it's not comboing, does that mean you could shake out of the stun? Let's see. No. Even though it's not comboing, I'm not able to shake out of this. The old way to shake out was forward, but you don't need to do forward anymore. So even though you don't see the combo in training mode, it still combos. So if you want to practice this, this is actually not that hard to do. So like I said, set counter hits a random. Set it to a stand guard all like this. And then... Also... Audio cues now for counter hits. Remember what I said? People have been sleeping on like confirming things with audio. You can do that with counter hits also. Oh, that sounded like it. Oh, I have the loud, the loud music mixing in, so. Also, I, I can't help but notice the blue tech counter hit text popping on the left. That's unfortunate because that does not happen during the match. But, uh,. As you can see, it's doable. So you're committing to the second hit. Now that we now that we got that out of the way, <clears throat> second hit is only negative five. So this is a pretty good string. First hit is 16 frames. I don't know. If this was always like this. In like 5.0 and DR. I don't remember people using this in those games to fish for counter hit. I want to say this was a Tekken 6 change, but I'm not 100% on that. It might have always been like that. This is a good counter hit spring for obvious reasons. Hit confirmable all mid at the point where you want to do the confirm you only uh, and you stop. It's still a mid and it's uh, negative 5. If he doesn't delay it. Can't step it. Ooh. Now it doesn't combo on normal hit. Now it would make it too good. But it tracks the his. The first hit definitely tracks the his right side. So if you want to use the first hit as a bootleg tracker, you can totally do that. You can use this against poke pressure if you notice that people poke into buttons instead of a homing move. Since his homing moves are kind of slow, if I'm not mistaken. And if I step right, I have to account for the second hit. And the second hit on normal hit makes the third hit combo. That At that point, I don't think you could uh, really... Um, at that point, I don't think you could really... Um, confirm it, but I will, what I will say is that if you notice people step in that direction, you must have complete the string, because they're going to get your back anyway. So, if the second it connects, it'll combo. Essentially, there's no reason not to complete it, for the most part. I mean, yeah, if they step guards negative 19, but if you stop at the second hit, they're going to launch you anyway. So, you must have complete it in case they get hit by the second hit. That's my thought process on that, at least. Uh, nah, uh, KO, it is relatively unusual, but that's definitely a thing that people do sometimes. I've seen Frank players fish for this counter hit. It's confirmable, why not? Especially near the wall. Look at that. Uh, whoops, that first hit has shit range, but... 44 damage wall splat. Why would you not want that? 
44 damage knockdown walls by hit confirmable. 16 frames is not slow. So, I think that's solid. Especially off of, like, situations where you know you're... You know? If they don't backdash, if they do backdash, you're still safe because of the second hit, probably. Right? Like, if I did that... If I backdash and made the first hit wave, do I get anything here? I can't hawk kick him in time. Of course, I'm Feng. I can back one him, but... I exchange with 12 frames off the backdash. Not even... Try to fit a 14 frame. So it seems like 13 frames is the limit. Oh no, that didn't exchange. So I can make 14 frame work. Weird, I can't get it to exchange, even though I got the shoulder to interrupt. Step it and uh, toward the right, but I can't really back dash it. See, that's a great option there. If you're fighting someone that mashes, that probably shouldn't be mashing. So yeah, that's that. Next, uh, it is uh, since it's delayable, you could make the low wall hit on the last hit, so it's a wall combo too. A decent one. <clears throat> Although I still I still usually see fake versions do one two into shoulder or like one three shoulder that's the actual wall combo right into shoulder I believe that's the wall combo There's many things uh, Ko if you're only doing the same threatening things then you're being obvious too and I, in my opinion having more options is always good. Rather than always doing the most obvious thing, which has the most obvious answer. Because you know what? If people don't see this very often, then they'll have a tendency to swing after this, right? And if they swing after that, you could do uh, that. You could duck if they go with the jabs. You could duck. All sorts of shit you can do. <clears throat> so yeah. Forward two one, forward two one two. Next is forward three, which is forward three four. We know this already. Forward three by itself, twenty one frames start up. Um, negative three on block, plus nine on hits. You could uh, semi hit confirm based on the whip because the first hit is so slow. If you just input it from back here, you could definitely notice if they swing and then commit. The thing is, you have to commit before the first hit connects. This is not like a straight up hit confirm. So, similar to when I talk about Kazumi's down, uh, sorry, sidestep down forward one, two, and you get hit confirm off of the whiff. You could hit confirm, not, off, not necessarily off of a sidestep, although you can. It's too slow to use off of a sidestep, in my opinion. But from back here, you just kind of throw it out in a neutral. You could totally confirm a whiff and press the second button. Four, three, four. And uh, as we showed before, 434, four, a lot of damage off of this juggles, and you can do uh, setups with it. 434, four, four, 41 plus 2, side step right, cancel, 434, four, jab, 434, four, dash up, 4 till the 3, you get plus 4. And if they stay down, once again, that's 434, four, 41 plus 2, slight side step right, cancel, that's a 434 four, again. And then jab, 434 four, again. Then you have to dash up, let go of six to uh, go to neutral, and then four till the three to get the really beast Oki. Four three four, four one plus two, side step right, four three four, jab, four three four, dash up, four till the three. 
I'm getting pretty good at it. Look at that. Just like that. The side step right is going to be the weird part because you have to side step right and essentially cancel the side step right into forward three. Barely side step right. Micro side step. It's like you're pressing down forward three, basically. Uh, Steve can Oh, yeah, this is a uh, 15 frame. Right? Negative 15 on block. That's a oh, negative 16 on block. Uh, does Steve have a 16 frame monster? Back two or back one? Let me back two. Let me check. It might be 17. Yeah, it's 17. So yeah, Steve cannot launch it. Characters who have launchers slower than 16 frames, for example, Bob, Steve. I can't think of anybody else. <laughs> Bob and Steve. Asuka? No, Asuka has 15 frames. Yeah, but those two and maybe a handful of other characters. Um, geese without meter. Geese without meter will be unable to launch this. So it's especially good as like a random choice against them. You can kind of like risk it and not get launched. I mean, you still can get beat up pretty bad. Steve gets like what 40 damage now for 15 frames. The forward one plus two two. So it's not without risk, obviously. So it has that going for it too. Uh, I don't know if you guys can believe this shit. In Tekken Revolution, the free-to-play one, they made this negative 13, I believe. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. This, negative 13? Are you fucking kidding me? That shit was so lame. But who gives a shit about that game, right? Um, yeah, they also made uh, Miguel's Don Forward 2 one negative 13. In that game. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, yeah, forward 3, 4. Good move. Very linear. But a lot of range. Like I said, it's not a it's not the kind of movie used for tracking. It's the kind of movie used for the range. I believe you also is this how you pick up the slide? You might be you might pick up the slide with this. Crouch cancel though. Maybe not. What the fuck is banging on the door? Well, well, whatever. I know how to pick up slide. Lost any one. Or. Cross cancel one plus four for shitty damage. Yeah, forward three is only negative uh, three on block. So you could fi it's part of why you could fish for it from so far away. It's just like fake players just love to do this shit. Because like I said, you could hit confirm off of a whiff, and essentially if it gets blocked, it's like it ain't shit. He's still all the way back here, essentially on block, right? And he's at negative three. Right? See? It's just one of those moves you can just kind of fish for, and if you're sharp, you can confirm a whiff. But it's linear. So, much like Huarong's Peacekeeper, whatever that shit is called, you know, the full forward three or four, whatever it is, the the knockback uh, mid, you gotta make it whiff to really fuck him up for it. You got a well timed sidestep, basically. If only the four was hit confirmable. Fuck that. Are you kidding? <laughs> I know you're using a capital face when you say that, but fuck that shit. You know, uh, when they first gave this move in Tekken 6 Arcade, I went to Chinatown Town Fair, and here in New York, there's a player named Liquid. He straight up told me he was hit confirming this on me because he was listening for me pressing buttons after fishing for the first hit. Because <laughs> he told me that, oh, this is launch punishable if he blocks the second hit. And after that, he was listening for me pressing buttons. And then he was, every time I pressed buttons, he would mash the second hit out. I'm like, you sack of shit. <laughs> so, watch out for those button listening motherfuckers. Although, you people who play online will never have to worry about that. 
Alright, so forward four is next. Good move. This is a good move. Forward four startup is 18 frames, and it's a jungle starter on normal hit. You could go right into forward one plus two. You probably have to sidestep because it hits off axis to get anything interesting. Let's see. You do the same juggle. You can do the same juggle. Look at that. Um. go right into that too. That's, that damage is trash. Uh, forward four back while standing on. Okay. Oh yeah, you can hold back. Um, you can hold back to go back turn off of this. How do you do while standing on? Is it down back or is it down? Or down forward. Down forward. While standing one, down forward one, down back one, four. Is that better than just forward one plus two? Like I just did? Oh, it's if you want to convert off of the back turn. Gotcha. Right? So it, it, it basically, it makes it so if you choose to go back turn, it won't fuck up your combo. Is that what that's about? Because honestly, why would I do that? Over, why wouldn't I just do this? Oh, got it. Yeah, I figured as much. That's true. So the thing about I was gonna get into that. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You're right. I just want to make sure. So what? I, what I was uh, basically what you're just saying is what I was about to get into. You could hold back to go back turn, right? And the thing about going back turn, universally, in the game, any character that goes back turn, except for maybe, maybe saw you. I don't know. Just about uh, any character though. If you hold down back, you create a ton of space. It is one of the faster ways to turn around, but you're vulnerable the whole duration of you turning around to mix, long range mix. But in general, you're gonna see a lot of this going on from back here. You know? Because first of all, when you do that and you hold back, he's already creating some space. Look at the animation. He kicks and then he moves back a little bit. And then you top that off with holding down back, you create a shitload of space. You can also just hold back. You also will turn around to create a little bit of space. That does turn around slower than holding forward, though. Holding forward is the fastest way to turn around from back turn. It's a stand block. And holding forward, you will still stand block when holding forward from back turn. So you don't have to worry about that. So as far as the frame data on this goes, according to RB Norway, negative 9 on block. If you don't hold back, if you do hold back, negative 5 on block. Which is especially why it's important to hold forward. Otherwise, you're going to eat jabs. Right? That might be too much. Let's see. See? Now, if I were to... Oh! Let's try it again. It might be negative four, like Lily's not four, three, four. Yeah, it might be negative four where I need to do that, right? Let's try it again. Maybe I'm putting it four. Yeah, so negative five is at the point where... Maybe the spacing helps in here. Yeah, the spacing helps him. Oh, no. Not always. But from, like, back here. Yeah, see? If you get him to block the tip, the spacing is in his favor. All right, so negative five is the breaking point. Maybe negative four is. So Lily's down four, D plus four is negative four at worst, right? I forget. Well, whatever. Uh, point being, okay, so you got negative five. So to get away from jabs, you are forced to crush them. So you have to either duck or crush. I mean, that's if you want to get crazy, but you can just do down four also. Right? Weird. We should be exchanging, isn't it? Oh, it's negative five, not, not four. Um, what's 15 frames? Yes, yeah, so 
That's ten frames. Uh, yeah, I know video games. I'm doing that right now. If you're not doing four three in neutral, mm -hmm. but yeah. If you happen to catch them with just a four four, yeah, that's true. So yeah, you get more damage out of catching him without going back to her. But in general, you want to go back to her because that makes this move really goofy. <laughs> uh, I mean, four four by itself is still safe. It is still 18 frame high juggle starter. So it's not, you know. It tracks the things right, it looks like. Is that really all I have as far as this soundtrack goes? Oh, I thought I had more than that. Where's the playlist? Hey, where's the playlist? Whatever, let's go with Final Fantasy, huh? Yeah, because it's a high. So, essentially, because of all the space that you create, especially on whiff, you could bait people to try to whiff punish this shit. And then you go down back, and then they fuck up their whiff punish, and then you gotta, you get the this ready, basically. So, essentially... That's a popular setup. To catch people running in when you miss this. Of course, he also has a 4 4 3, and that second hit gives him a free follow up. Which breaks the floor on the floor break stage, right? 19 damage. His stomp hurts. You also do this, right? 20 damage, even better. So we have to dash for the second one. Yeah. Negative four, though. So you don't get that super duper amazing plus on block situation. Unless they hold back, probably. So, yeah. Basically, you have to be able to convert while holding back turn. You got to get good at that conversion. Remember, it's forward four back, down forward one, and then. Uh, down forward, let go of down forward, and then one. Down forward, neutral one. You gotta get good at that. As far as confirming this. And then I don't know what you do afterwards. Forward four? Are you kidding me? Forward four is amazing. You definitely should be using forward four as fun. It's like one of his fucking... Uh, I was about to say best tools. It's definitely at the edge of like the best. <laughs> like I said, it's keep out. The only problem with it is it's a high and it tracks to his right side. So it's even good up close. It's a little slow, but 18 frames is not that slow. It's a very good move. Negative 10 on block. It's not even that bad on block. What's up with this playlist? Did I turn off autoplay? All of a sudden? What the fuck? Where's the autoplay? Weird. <sighs> this also breaks the floor. It is also a natural combo. And the second hit by Tuck gives you a stomp, and it's only negative 10. Really good move. So there's a lot of reasons. Although, it, you know, if you get him to whip the second hit from here, then it's going to be problems. Yeah, the juggler gets up the holy back is pretty weak, but the whole reason you go into back turn is he gets all that evasive, uh, all of it. It's essentially a free whiff. It's keep out. It's a free whiff. It's like what Hop, what uh, what uh, Magic Fours used to be when they had better recovery. You're thinking too much about like dumb shit, like oh, it's less damage, it's shitty damage. No, no. 
you're already thinking about this in the wrong way. It's a free, it's essentially a free whiff from back here. That's what you need to understand. It's very difficult to really like blow Feng up for doing this, depending on the matchup. That's why it's done so often. No matter how good the, p the player is, it's used at all levels because it's so obviously good. <laughs> a good move it's just not abused it's abused more in the lower levels than it is in the higher levels of play it's used less in high levels of play but it's not ignored it's a good move forward four is used for a variety of reasons watch you just watch like watch me or any of them play feng or whoever the hell else still plays this character you'll see <clears throat> all right so four four close Negative 12, what does that mean? Oh, close, what does that mean? Oh, the low. And then he has this dumb shit where lower level players will try to mix this up with the 4-4-3. Four, four, I think the 3 connects faster than the low does. Yeah, the low comes out way slower. You can essentially react to the low. It's only negative 10, though. I didn't know that. Is that right? Wow, negative... Uh, negative 12. I didn't know that the low was that good on block. So, yeah, there's no mix-up here, but... Um, but the low is there, too, I guess. <laughs> And it is low risk that they just block it. Is there a juggle off of this? Okay, and the low is the juggle starter. That's interesting. Why does he have such a weird armor? Maybe you can. Uh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. It's a little awkward to input. You had to lay it just enough, but doing that uh, hold back and the back temple step, that's a lot of space created in case somebody tries to run in. This is the kind of thing that would blow up a Dragon off while running too. Like, if Dragon off sees the forward forward and comes in with a while running too, he'll create this much space and that much space and then you're going to whiff it. It's crazy. You'll see it happen. He'll make you eat shit with this. Alright. So anyway. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. It's a nice little thing to have. But it's not, like, particularly amazing. It is amazing at a low level, I imagine, though. Only negative 12? Hell yeah. <laughs> Launcher? You'll fuck up a ton of low-level players doing this shit. Also, who, who does jab punishes at low level? So that's only negative 10. Also, this would uh, break the floor on normal hit. So you got to juggle in that situation, too. Alright. So that's that. Next is forward 1 plus 2, which is a homie move and a core screw, but it is a high. And it is pretty slow. Uh, it's only negative 8 on block, though. So that's nice. If this were a mid, they'd make this shit super unsafe. They'd make it either a lot slower or very unsafe. Or at least it ain't a high homing armor move that starts a lot of damage like Wanang's. So 19 frames is it's on the slow side, but it's not super duper slow. This will clip people doing sidestep like buttons uh, pretty well. So 
For example, Kazumi down forward one, sidestep down forward one. Depending on how big a gap she puts on that, you could blow her up with this shit. Forward three four shoulder. Nice. What's up, Doomshine? Uh, it's his screw for about two thirds of his launches, but you still need down back one four place situations. Yep. the only place you use that combo route. It's a good thing 3-3 does good damage. 15 and an 18. So that, that makes that juggle in general do pretty good damage. Yeah, so that's actually really good damage. Because this filler isn't awful. So 68 damage off of an instant corkscrew. I feel like that's kind of a rare thing. Off of an instant core screw, unless the instant core screw does a shitload of damage, it does 28 damage, so that's why. Like, uh, Miguel's forward forward 3, I think it was. That's like 30-something damage. 30 damage on the dot, maybe? Good move. 33 counter hit. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about forward or plus 2. It's just that it's a high. Remember that. Alright, down forward one. This move is fucking pesky. Zero on block, 14 frame mid poke that on counter hit gives him plus 36. It pushes back one. Uh, unlike uh, in Tekken 6, I think, when they first started adding this, these knockdowns, you don't get any free hits. You used to get free hits off of this. Now it's just a uh, plus a lot. See, so this is this, even that's a frame trap. You just gotta account for the knockback. Basically, before Tekken 6, you had to tech that. Otherwise, people got guaranteed launches. Now, I don't even think you can tech that anymore. Yeah, I have tech on. So, you just get the plus 36 and make it block. <clears throat> uh, it's too far for that, probably. Yeah. So, you don't get that uh, sidestep mix-up. Not a good one, at least. I mean, you could try dashing up into it, but that adds a lot of frames, right? Uh, I would just go for like uh, down back three or course to forward one, right? And then mix that up with any other long range mid, basically. Because even though it's course to forward one input with plus 36, you should definitely be good to input that in time. Yeah, dash sidestep four or dash down four three. That would be what you do if you're clean with your dash sidestep input. Then you could like force that sort of mix up for of this. If you're clean enough, if you feel clean enough to get that in there in time, to make at least one of those options a frame trap and not really fuck up your plus thirty six, <laughs> then by all means. Make that your mix up because it's going to be way more effective. Well, maybe effective is not the right word. Way more rewarding when you guess right. But if you, you don't need to take that sort of risk either. If you're fighting someone who can't launch a down back three, by all means, do that. Or, of course, look forward one. Which, if they are a master, then even better because that's going to give you a juggle, right? I don't know what the follow up is, though. Shit like that.
Yeah, but it's uh, this isn't the tip. So we don't care about that in this situation, video games. Because this is not gonna make it the tip. It's negative 15, see? In a situation where you're using it as a mix-up tool off of this, it's gonna be negative 15. Also, there's no counter here properties, which is fucking weird. Like, the shoulder is so much better. It's just slower. And uh, down back three is just super fast. That's why it's so much worse overall. But if you input as fast as possible, you don't let them see the quarter circle forward. Which is what I'm saying to do off of this. By all means. That's very good. You can't low parry that shoulder because it's, sh it's a shoulder. Uh, even though it's a low. And uh, it's only negative 14 on block instead of negative 15. That's a big difference when it comes to while standing punishment. That's a big difference when it comes to either punishment, standing or while standing. But, you know, you get the idea. All right, so next we got, um, yeah, dot forward one is zero on by. Let's see how it tracks. Yeah, so it tracks uh, really good to his left side, it looks like. What's, um, make up stand block for a second here. Standing three. Yep, very reliably. And of course, into itself also. Yeah, so a popular setup for this, since it's zero on block, basically, in this game, it got an indirect buff because. Uh, when you exchange moves, you still retain counter properties, which means this into this. If they jab, you'll still get your shoulder. Right? Ugh, you gotta run up for it. There, to see. You still have to run up and get and uh, to get the shoulder, but you know. It also goes through a shitload of things, so. Uh, you can also let them see the course of the forward and risk letting a two rip. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can let them see the course of the forward and then force it as the mix up with this after the counter hit down forward one. Basically, with 36 frame advantage, you could get creative. You could essentially, as long as your inputs are clean enough that you're not sacrificing all those frames, you could get pretty dang creative with your mix-ups. And then when you do sacrifice those frames, you can make it mean something by doing shit like this. Or, you know, delaying that. Delaying your core circle for one. Let them see the crouch dash to force it as a mix-up. You know? You can go up. You do all sorts of goofy shit. Side step. So yeah, down forward one is very good. On regular hit, plus six. Zero on block. 14 frames, tracks the fangs left. Amazing, amazing mid poke. One of the best mid pokes in the game, I would argue. One of the best. If not the best. Very good mid poke. The only downside is uh, the range is pretty shit, right? Yeah, the range is probably pretty shit. Like, Feng is a little weird to test on because his stupid-ass left arm is sticking all the way out. See? You can't do two back-to-back. -back. back dash will blow it up. Even though it's not pushing back at all on block. Good jab. Fish hook, which is a great option afterwards because fish hook is 12 frames. So why the fuck not, right? Yeah, that's the one downside to that uh, down forward one. The range is worse than other down forward ones. Other down forward ones, you can back dash with the blocking, but it's because they push out. That's typically the case. Would be the best if you step forward more. Yeah, exactly. If that had enough range to catch back dash, force on the block like that, 
it would easily be the best mid poke in the game, for sure. Like, I wouldn't even need to think about it. Alright, so down forward two. I mean, everything has to have some sort of weakness, right? This move. This is a uh, wall splat on normal hit for decent damage. And it is safe on block. The only problem with this is it's slow. But it is a mid op a mid safe on block option. You can't delay it. You can't delay it. And you can't hit confirm it, not that you would need to, because it's actually better on block than the first hit by itself, which is negative nine. But both hits is negative six. Uh, he's right in her face though, so you can't sidestep really. You could probably do backswing blow. Which is very risky with Fen because it's negative fifteen. But yeah, you could definitely backspeed low after this, but you can't sidestep. If you try to sidestep, you're gonna eat. Uh, well, that's not the way to do it. So you're gonna eat jabs. And you'll probably eat twelve frame mids. But jabs for sure. I mean, that doesn't mean you can't sidestep. I should not say it that way, right? You cannot sidestep jabs. But linear moves, you'll still, uh, if they're linear, you'll be able to step them. Like down forward one, we know doesn't track to Feng's right side, so you could step it. Still, this is a very good move. At the wall, especially. I think. Although he has a lot of options to wall spot the wall. It's just yet another one. Also, you can't backswing blow the jab still. The backswing blow isn't great for this. He needs some space. So you kind of have to guess a mix up, sort of, when that's blocked. Uh, Yoshi could flash that? Yeah, because he's right in your face. I'm just testing random shit just in case. I mean, that shit should obviously work, but... Excuse me. So yeah, you can get pretty crazy with that move. Um, I don't think it tracks at all. Second hit. So you have to walk to get around the second hit. Alright. Next on the list, down forward three. Safe on block mid launcher. But you have to be up in their face. And the damage isn't great.
What's the best juggle off of this? Best use is down forward three out of sidestep. Yep, yep, but what's the uh, juggle off of down forward three? do after the course group the shoulder is missing for me I'm trying that I should just drop randomly sometimes. Is it because my dash isn't deep enough? Ugh. I'm definitely buffering it to make sure I'm not too slow. So you have to do the stupid dash for that. Okay, good. You can just hold forward for a bit, but you still have to time that. You can't just instantly do forward 3-4 or it's going to whiff, which sucks. And occasionally it'll whiff depending on axis. I had a feeling, KO. See, that's what I was wondering. I feel like I've seen this like whiff a lot on people, that shoulder in the end. And it's got to be because it's axis dependent. Which is like, if you're telling me to use this at a sidestep, that's a thing to consider, right? So like a popular mix-up uh, is the mix-up sidestep four, the low launcher with sidestep down forward three, right? There are similar speeds, only two frames apart. And down forward three is a safe mid launcher, right? But the thing is, if you hit this off axis, that's going to fuck with that combo, right? Which means, which makes you think you're going to want to dash instead of stepping forward. That's gonna whiff there. I knew it. You could just you could see it. Is there an alternate combo? Let's do the four three four and go for Oki instead of going for the shoulder. So fifty damage plus Oki. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's fifty damage off of safe mid. one damage and you still have to dash for the four till the three otherwise the timing is not in your favor plus four similar situation that's not bad sure you still have to do the dash for the four three four though because they're at an angle Really? Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh boy! Looks to me like I should add that down forward one. Not only for the one damage, but uh, you see what's happening here, right? When I go left. Yeah, I went through that earlier, Damien. Thank you. I already went through that with this struggle. Oh, I fucked it up there. Also, reminder about that juggle. If you hit them with the flip, you get a free fish hook. Ugh. 
if you don't fuck up the fucking flip. Ah. Oh my god, now I'm fucking up the flip. <laughs> His stuff is so finicky. Holy shit. How do you feg players live? See? That's a link. So I should tap forward instead of dashing forward, because I was dashing forward before. So I should tap forward instead. Oh, plus five there. Huh, oh, nice. So tap forward, neutral, four, till the three. Instead of dub dashing forward, I'm double tapping forward. Okay. All right, cool. Uh... Yep, you can do it. You can do it out of core circle forward also, which is fucking nasty if you ask me. Considering core circle forward is like people gotta be afraid of this low. So if you get in deep with that shit, man, that's cheap. Thing has a lot of cool like, he has a lot of cool trickery like that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of really cool shit. This character seems is really cool, but like I never wanted to use him because. I feel like if I if I wanted to use him the way I would want to use him, you'd, I would want to have to like. How do I put this? I feel like to use him the way I would want to use him to make good of his unique stuff, I'd have to get good at all of this stuff, right? At uh, all these cancels, to this, or, and it's just it's just a lot to remember, right? You could still play him the basic poking game, but like if you just play the super basic way, I feel like he's definitely weaker at it than a lot of others. This is gonna be a lot of me doing this. You know, which is fine. It's fine. You could win with this stuff. I've shown it many times, right? But um, you'd be missing out on so much with this character unless you really get into his move list. There's so much going on. But yeah, thanks for that tip, uh, K. I didn't know you could do down forward three out of crouch dash. So, yeah, so it's a lot of uses for this move, so. Uh, just, this is just core circle forward and then down forward three. There's no real trick to doing it. At any point during that animation, just tap a down forward three, and he will do down forward three. So essentially, you can, instead of risking this on block, which is unsafe, core circle forward two, you can do core circle forward down forward three as a mid. Although core circle forward two has better tracking, I think. Uh, I don't think down forward three has any tracking at all. Although the core circle forward will add some bootleg tracking, but. Man, poor Fang, his one jab does not reach himself. Uh, has some has a little bit going on in his left on his left side. Because that's where the kick is coming from. So it has a good enough hitbox that where if you're up close, it'll clip you. But you have to walk. All right, um, down 4-3 is very threatening because people will respect the size step 4. Of course, down 4-3 at the wall, then you do 1-2 shoulder, right? That's my guess. At the wall. Bam, there's a wall combo. Because the 1-2 will splat them, and then the shoulder will low wall hit, right? Also, down 4-3 plus 4 can be used at a cross dash. Oh, nice. You can add a lot of range to his homing move. All right, I'll talk about that when I get to the home because I know, I know, I know the follow-up to that. Oh, that's weird. Wow. So, 
I mean, I'm not even talking about that movie yet, but I feel like I should point this out. Well, it's coming up soon. I'll talk about it soon. Right now, down 4-4, which is just a nice long-range mid-poke on the slow side, but it pushes out. 15 frames. A lot of these are usually 14 frames. Thanks is 15. Uh, but it's one of those that, oh, but it's better on block than a lot of the other ones. A lot, more often than not, these are like negative 9. Like um, Shaheen, I think, has one. Claudio. Uh, it might be down 4-3 for Claudio, but whatever. It's down 4 plus one of the kicks. They'll do a similar long-range kick like this. Here's this negative 6, but it still does the push out. So if you get to the block just the tip of this, even up close though, look at this, up close, you're still good. You throw a little back dash in there, you get a lot of shit to whiff. But if you get to the block just the tip, this is one of those where it's like, every time you throw this out, you need to watch if they press anything, whether it's hit on hit or on block. You need to get your whiff punish locked and loaded. You should always be, unless it's to end the round, you should always be throwing this out with the intent of getting your whiff punish locked and loaded. And then the moment they try to like do anything, BAM! Don't let them get away with it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, these are always linear, right? I don't think it's any different with this one. In case you're wondering why I'm using a standing two, it's negative three. Oh, what do you know? Okay. Look at that. It, it tracks step pretty well to his left side. It does it at negative one, at negative three. But not at plus one. This is second seven, y'all. It's weird. But at zero, it does. Second seven is fucking weird with this stuff. Oh boy. Is the mass combo for Feng forward plus two? Side step right, forward, forward, four. Oh, delay three. I forgot about the forward, forward, four, delay three thing. One, three, dash. I'm ignoring that phone call. Rito was sick though. It says somebody from Ohio. I don't know who that is, so I'm not answering. Yeah, it's one of those that tracks better at minus. I step right into that. Doesn't look like it's possible. You don't need a side step right. That's an OG shit though. Uh, doing the 444 delay three. That used to be a big thing in his uh, Tekken 6 jungles, I think. And then you would do a shoulder after that shit, after bound. Anyway, so we talked about down forward four, right? So next is down forward three plus four. And that's his homing move. After it connects, four to the three, guaranteed. And if I'm not mistaken, depending on how they get up, weird shit tends to happen here. Or like, if you delay it a little, is it? Yeah! Put a little bit of delay if they try to get up. <laughs> Plus six, force cross, back turn.
that case, it wasn't back turn. So then, and that, honestly, putting that delay and dig out that way, it gives you better options. Otherwise, it just knocks them away. All right? That's it. I don't think it's guaranteed. What do you think about Yakuza 0 being uh, first to get a PC release? Do you think it was a smart choice? Yes, it's the best one. Uh, Kiwami's also getting a PC release. Um... Alright, alright. So, here's one thing I noticed is when he told me earlier that you could do this at a quarter circle forward. Right now, I'm holding three. So I'm going to buffer as down forward 3 plus 4 by holding 3. It putting core circle forward, down forward 4 while holding 3 the whole time. It gives me the generic low. Now I'm holding 4. I get it when I'm holding 4. I don't know if this is safe for all you guys or there's something wrong about what I'm doing here. But it just seems to me like you're going to want to hold 4. To avoid getting the generic low. But sometimes you might want the generic low. So hold the three instead if you want the generic low. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Granted, you could just do Corsica forward full crouch, right? It's the same thing, I guess. But if you want this move out of Corsica forward, you're going to want to hold the four, it looks like. And that tells me that if you were to try to do it raw, you're going to get the low. It's going to override it for some reason. But if you hold the four, you get it every time. <laughs> Infinite. Can't do it on two-piece side. Alright. So the, it is blockable, obviously. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. That'd be some funny-ass noob try to keep holding back. And just over and over again. Bam! Bam! Stop holding back. Uh, so yeah, this is a homing move with uh, free follow-up. That's only negative eight on block. But it is on the slow side at 23 frame startup. No counter hit properties. Um... That sort of knockdown makes you wonder if you get anything for free when the walls to your right. Is Aris streaming? Feng has so much tech, man. If you want to really, like, play with this character, so much tech, man. You could, like, go through this guy's move list for hours and find out so much shit. More than just hours, but um <sighs> Aww, no pickup. Uh, 
but it's only Bloodborne? Is that a joke? <laughs> I don't get that joke. <laughs> that was supposed to be a joke. Um, oh yeah, what was I gonna check? Okay, yeah, so that is the combo. All right. Or even better. Fifty-two. Yeah, way better. Oh, that wasn't a combo. Alright, so no pickup. If uh, 4 plus 1 doesn't work, I don't think it's going to be anything else is going to work. As long as um, we know that you always get something guaranteed. Pretty much. Oh, Aris is streaming, but it's Bloodborne. Wow, I didn't get the notification. That's weird. Oh, I did. It just got jumbled up in my emails. Okay. All right. So a lot of like good moves and some really good ones. There's very few here that I would call bad moves. Like three, three, four. It's like it's a pretty bad move. And uh, yeah, I think three, three, four is the only move that I've gone through that I would call a bad move. And even then, there's like juggle usages for it. And like down forward four kind of makes the standing three application I was talking about earlier a bit more obsolete. Because I didn't know down forward four would not be negative nine on block. I guess three till the four sort of. It's not not a great move. All right, so that's a good good ass homie move. 23 frame startup, and you can core circle forward at some range. Which is definitely something I've seen fat players do. Just look at all this fucking range it has, and then you can add a lot of range. Of course, you can just dash up into it, but the thing about core circle forward is people always thinking about their slow. Always. And it is similar speeds. One frame slower for the mid than the low. So, it's cheap. It's good. It's very good. So next we have down two, a very cheap low poke. Now, that's why it's negative one on hits. Yeah, video games, we said that already. Uh, yeah, yeah, one plus four is pretty whack. You're right. That's a juggle filler, so you're right. One plus four is pretty whack. <laughs> but anyway, um, so down two is good because this shit crushes pretty good. Crushes on frame six according to uh, RB Norway. Only negative 12 on block. Negative one on hit, knock down on counter hit. You recover crouching. So crouch cancel stomp, I guess. Cross cancel stop. Yes. All right. So down two, and then basically input it as up down three plus four. See, up down three plus four. Input it like you're inputting a jet up or forward back. Up down three plus four, and you're gonna stop. Nineteen damage. I'm assuming that would floor break, turning that into a juggle starter, right? Because his stomp floor breaks for some reason. And uh, I'm gonna want a lot of range. Look at that, two back dashes. Now let's see how it tracks. Alright, linear. That's the one downside, the true downside of this move. It's linear as fuck. Uh, 20 frames, so it's slow, but it's not seeable. So yeah, not much else to say about that one. Uh, it hits grounded, I guess. Yeah, 
it's grounded. No matter what angle. For a lot of damage, that's a good grounded hit. Nice chunky 13 damage for a grounded poke. Uh, watch if you size it right down to because a lot of things uh, will follow up a down to normal hit with an up forward to. Oh, you mean side slip right uh, after it hits? Got it. And that's gonna track up four two tracks in the same way. All right. Yeah, because it's negative one. They're gonna swing. Uh, that's some scrubby shit. But yeah, I can see why they would do it. What I'm noticing here is it's negative one with all this range. Look at the spacing. Right? It's hard to tell because Feng's stance is goofy. But you know, you create a lot of space with this shit. Or maybe not a lot, but a little bit. Especially if you hit the tip. Easy whiff bait. Down two is cheap. It's a good move. Uh, down four is next. This is what I would call his standard very fast low poke. Just 14 frames. Zero on hit. Good low poke. That's why it's just, it does such shitty damage. Seven damage. Um, and now it does have a follow up at this. It's negative ten. Uh, down four, one plus two. It's a counter hit combo, right? And remember, down four is only 14 frames. So there's a lot of instances where this is good, especially since down four tracks. Sorry, down four, it does track, but down four has a lot of range. So shit like this, you totally fuck up people who mash with that. It's just a little too fast. I like to have a, a slower moves in a situation like that to really fuck up mashes because then they'll feel that gap and then they'll. They'll be more inclined to mash. Like, really fast ones like this aren't great to catch mashers in the obvious situations, right? In the obvious situations like that, you want to do the slow moves. But in moves like, uh, in situations like, you know, like a 1-2 on block, and then you catch somebody, well, maybe not 1-2 on block, but like a down forward 1 or a 1 on block, catching people that mash dumb shit that's, like, slow, fuck their shit up. Or people who mash at negative frames their own during their own negative frames. Instead of you forcing them with plus on block, if they do shit like, you know, putting themselves at negative three and then mash, just throw that shit out there every once in a while. It's only negative ten. So yeah, it's a good move. And it tracks. So people that like to defend themselves with buttons like an up forward oh shit wait how fast is that 18 frames damn wait i'm interrupting him oh i'm putting myself in negative three dumbass oh damn better than the sidestep fuck that move better than the sidestep all right that move is so obnoxious. I'm glad they made it unsafe. I don't think it was unsafe before. But they gave the counter hit properties. Eh, really not. Yeah, as long as it hits on axis. Two is fucked up. Up forward two is fucked up. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Down four is still good for normal sidesteps. <laughs> Not weird ass sidestep moves like that. Uh, anyway, next down back one. Okay, it's where they gave him the cheap shit. Dirty monitor. So down back one two is something that he's had for fucking forever. Natural combo, 16 frames, mid mid. The label second hit, negative 12. Negative 
knocks back on Connor here. So, right, the new shit they gave him. Oh, yeah, dot back one forward goes into parting clouds, right? Is that what this shit is called? It goes into a stupid uh, forward Kenpo stance. Uh, whatever you call this dumbass stance, it goes into it. What is this called? It says STC here in the uh, RB Norway. Spear of Lubu. I played Dynasty Warriors. I know that name. Where's his stand stuff? That's weird. All right, take it easy, Damien. Thanks for coming through. What's this dance called? It's not. It, <sighs> kind of weird that it, that's not on his move list. Shifting clouds. All right, yeah, shifting clouds. I said party clouds, right? Shifting clouds. Thank you. Why is that not on his? I'm kind of wondering why it's not on his move list. I mean, it doesn't matter because I got the thing here, but I'm wondering why it's hidden in game. I don't see anything that says during shifting clouds. So it's like, why are they hiding moves? Ah, here it goes. Okay. But it's a stance. He has unique moves out of it. Right? And it doesn't show any of that here. It just says shifting clouds. See? He's got unique moves out of that. Well, whatever. So you go, you hold forward, you go to shifting clouds, which is the same as forward 3 plus 4. He has that as a 1. He has that launcher. He has that high kick, which is, I think, plus on block. And that low. Now, shifting clouds is a parry, right? Yep. And if he parries shifting clouds, he automatically does that attack. But he has to parry two hits? Yeah. That's such a cool looking fucking move. <laughs> so that, if he just parries one, he doesn't do anything. He parries kicks too. Yeah, so he only does that he parries two hits and then if he doesn't parry anything you get those uh, options out of it Which is apparently hidden in his move list. I don't fucking know why. Maybe I'm missing something So uh, All right, so what is the actual frame trap then? Uh, down back one forward is Negative 41 on on block negative 25 on hit you don't say is there anything that counts as a fucking frame trap here? Or is or is it the parry that's gonna get people to hesitate? It's relying on the parry, right? Yeah, so if you delay your attack, you're gonna hit him out of it. But then he has that high kick that's plus eight on block. And knocks down for a free stomp, I guess, right? He has that low that's plus two on a hit. <sighs> he has that mid. This is one. 
What's the pickup? Oh, you could go into Kenpo out of that shit, out of that shit too. Oh, so if you hold back during shifting clouds, he gets Kenpo with different options. Damn, I ain't even know. That's crazy. Fucking Kenpo, oh, dude. This shit is crazy. Wing Chun, man. All right. Oh, what's that? All right, I'm not gonna get to. Uh, this stuff is all gonna come up later in this in this list because I know RB Noah is gonna tell me this stuff. So I'm not gonna get too into that right now. Just know that down back one forward, closer to shifting clouds, and then you can hold back to go into Kempo. Uh, but the thing about that is, uh, it's not relying on framing matches. It's just relying on the parry to stop people from swinging at you. Completely relying on relying on the parry. And then, if you press down back one and hold back, you recover into Kenpo, which creates a lot of space. And you go to the Kenpo options. Now, down back one back is plus seven on hits. So, the two is 14 frames, so that's a frame trap. And that gives him a free shoulder, right? Yep. Free shoulder. Um, that's too slow. That's too slow. That's too slow to frame trap. And that's really it. I mean, unless he has more options. <laughs> he can't go back and forth. But if you hold forward at the end of that, he goes into party clouds or shifty clouds, whatever. Fuck. Weird. So you can press. Um... <laughs> so you can go back uh, from one to the other, back to the other, or vice versa. Already, no, not vice versa, because if you go forward, if you do the shifting clouds and go into Kempo step, he does. You can't go back into shifting clouds. So it's only if you do the back Kempo step. But regular Kempo step, no, you can't. Weird. Right. And this is all just gimmicky, goofy shit. Not, well, it's not all gimmicky, but some of it is. You're banking on that parry to stop people from swinging at you. Doesn't work good shoulders. Does he have an elbow? Uh, I don't think he has an elbow, right? Oh, he does, but it's slow. All right, well. You see uh, how and begin do that a lot. Yeah, it's when you start fucking people up. When you finish the walk on with down back one and start mixing up stances on their wake up. That makes sense. I can imagine you could end a walk combo like this, right? Right? That would probably connect. One, two, into that. And then you can go into forward, back, and then they have to get up and guess which stance is going to be, which options he's going to have. You have to, like, watch his fucking hands. He's doing the last drag in the, <laughs> the glow. <laughs> you got to follow his hands. There's a lot of trickery going on there. I could see uses for that. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Even at a high-level play, you know, that could really fuck with your head. This is kind of, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier, right? All these options, you can do this as a wall combo, then you get the back turn. Um, you can do that as your wall combo, and then they wake up, and you're back turn, and then you can fuck with them that way, right? You get this, you, you get, you know, you get this plus 36 knockdown, you can go right into his his neutral stand stuff, right? You go right into his neutral stand stuff, or you go into a full ass crouch dash, and go into those sorts of mix-ups. Or you could dash up sidestep, and go into those mix-ups. You could, like... There's a lot of free-flowing shit going on with Feng. And that's what's really cool about him to me. But that also means you got to know all of those options to make the most of them. So you kind of have to know his whole move list. Which is why you see here, even though it's hiding moves, it's only 70-something. Because it's about going back and forth into these stances. And, and going through all of his options constantly, flowing back and forth between them. Ahem. <clears throat> 
But as far as in a neutral situation, with down back one, parting clouds and Kempo stuff, maybe the back Kempo step is good. But I don't know if I would use that too much. But it sounds good at the wall, like you said. <clears throat> well, anyway, and then they gave him down back one four, natural combo, mid high, and because he could, he could, he could delay both options quite a bit. No counter properties on the high, though, thank God. Um, but if it's out of the air with the high, it's going to turn to a jungle, obviously, because it's a core screw. And it just in general, that's a high damage knockback. 35 damage. It's like Bob's up forward, uh, Cracker Jacker into the high. Similar situation going on here, except a lot less unsafe and no low crushing. <laughs> and not and nowhere near as much uh, distance covered. So there's pros and cons with both of them. But going for going mid mid is not super risky. Like negative 12, it's not a big deal. So you could use that delay. Yeah, you could use that delay to cash people. Yeah, that that delay can help you set up back capital step. Back capital step is the one I would actually use in a neutral, probably. So being able to delay both of the strings that are natural combo. Right? And of course, it won't combo because you can't hit confirm in that sort of way, but still. It'll open up this a lot more, you know? Uh, also, it is 16 frames, so using it as a side step hit confirm is a little, like, rough because it's slow. I prefer to make it no slower than 15 frames on it, but it's still doable. If they do anything slower than, uh, than a um, jab, it's totally still doable. Committing to the first hit. I'm confirming the second. But if he does a jab, you're probably not gonna get it. This recovers too fast. See? Recovers way too fast. What I don't think it's annoying is dealing with one twos. The twos will hit you in those situations, cause you see, you have to step deeper to, to get around the two, and it's also hard to with punish that. But you can still do it. You just need a deeper side step. Who's a clip your ass? It's really annoying. If people respond with one, two, you have to just step deeper, or you have to step into a faster move. One two is faster, I think, than other ones in regards to like the gap between the hits. I think his one two is faster than most. They seem like they are. Yeah, Feng's one two is insanely quick. Insanely quick. Yeah, you could see that. So. One two is a good defensive tool against people who do sidestep into instant pokes. But yeah, that's there against people that do like single hit pokes. Like, uh, you know, if you could bait that out of them, bait a Kazumi doing down forward one by itself, you could sidestep right, bam, and then confirm easily. Um, 
Yeah, shit's cheap. So I ain't touched down back once tracking. So it seems to be good to his left side. That tracks better at negative. If I delay my sidestep at all, I get hit. Weird. Alright. Uh, and then we got Baby Tantrum. So this is down back two. 20 frame startup, two active frames, zero on hit, plus, uh, sorry, negative 11 on block, not bad, for a slow, low poke that's only five damage, <laughs> so it's not good either, uh, the this is where you want to use it, it's a counter hit low, juggle starter, right? Yeah, insanely minus on the second hit. So the second hit is negative 17 on block. Negative 16, it says here. Oh, wow. Negative 16 or negative 17? It says negative 16 on the bot. Negative 17 says RB Norway. That's not a big difference. Negative 17 to negative 18 is a bigger difference. Um, you can also hold uh, back to cancel the second one. Right, and as you see, you can fake the second one. And then, you can also do the mid in the end for negative 8 on block. And the mid is a knockdown 30 damage. A lot of damage on that one. Jesus Christ. You recover standing, so you get a stomp. Ooh, that's a lot of damage on the mid if you try to punish the second. This is better than I thought, to be honest with you. It's just slow. Right? All right, this is one of those where if you get hit by the first, you have to block the second. But if you block the first hit, you can low parry the low. How did I sidestep it that one time? <laughs> oh man. Well, that means you could rage drive. And there's also floor breaks, right? So if you happen to hit with the whole thing, it's gonna floor break. So, what's the ideal pickup here? 
Oh, you go right into that. Go right into that. Nice. Plus six, you say. Too much of a dash. No, I got enough there. What's up, Will? Um, if you can do is punch only reverse some, may as well just use his one plus two over it. Nah, uh, yeah, uh, you could do his reversal because it's a back input. He recovers crouching. Remember, you're ducking. You're ducking. So you have to. Cross cancel if you want to do that. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, you can still do that. I know that did that too. The fuck? No, I haven't done any of the wild standing stuff yet. That's uh, very difficult to do. Because you have to time it really well. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. But it does get more reward if you do that than the reversal. But yeah, I mean, die back 2-2 two, two is still good. That's still good. That's good. Not, not amazing, but good. All right, next we got down the back three. Remember, I go by the order of the move list as it's shown on RB Norway, which means it starts from jabs and it goes to like forward moves, back moves, down back moves, you know, and then while standing is at the end and then it's the stance moves. I'm probably gonna stop after the down back moves because I'm going towards four hours now. Excuse me. Uh, so the cancel is like whatever. I know a lot of newer Frank players like to do this dumb shit. And then they're like, no, I'm gonna finish it. It's like, yeah, whatever. I suppose that's doable, but there's such a big gap to that when your opponent gets used to seeing it, you're gonna get blown up. Uh, down back three. This is a good low poke. Forces crouch at plus four. Very nice. But it, you, you also recover crouching. So. Uh, while standing one is essentially a frame trap. 14 frames. While standing two will beat out most things. It'll exchange with while standing fours. And I believe this on counter hit is a jungle starter. But his while standing four knocks down on counter hit. <laughs> so I can't really test that here. Still, nice. A lot of range on this one. If you hit with just the tip though, the spacing is not great. But he has a while standing his while standing one moves him forward, so. See? Really good. Really good. While standing one is cheap, because it's only negative one on block. Think it might as well be a one two on block. And of course, he has that string. Alright, um. 
So Dieback 3 is negative 15 with two active frames. So if you get them to block just a tippy tip of this, you could get away with it being, um, which is actually something that might happen for you because uh, a lot of people do this from long range like this. They don't do it up close. So fairly often, you might end up getting it negative 14 instead of negative 15. There it is, just like that. And it's pretty fucked up, right? Because you're thinking negative 15, block, punish that shit. No, you really got to rely on it being negative 14. When you block it from people are spacing like this, which is very, very often what flank players do. You got to just treat it like it's negative 14, <laughs> essentially. It's not seeable. You can't see the difference. But hey, if you got a 14 frame while staying launcher, you don't got to worry about that. You'll get him every time. Of course, he goes to his low period, but then you have to worry about the shoulder. <clears throat> while staying to launch is a normal hit for a mini combo. What's the combo? What's the combo? I know that's the guaranteed thing, the mini combo. Down 4, 1 plus 2. Ah. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Um. So yeah, down back three is good. Try to step this in a neutral situation where you would see it, not up close. Okay, so there's not really no real tracking on it. That's all there is to say about that. Good move. Next is down back four, which is basically his snake edge. But uh, yeah, 30 frame startup. It's a snake edge. It's a snake edge. Block it on reaction. That is that all that, that you know. You know what a snake edge is, guys. Very slow, seeable, homing moves. This is never something that a flank player should should have you guessing. The flank player should have you like seeable. The side step four is the one where you have to guess. 20 frames. <laughs> Down back four is not bad. Homing low juggle starter. You're right into forward one pursue, right? Or not. While standing one. While standing two. How do you get the two? Oh, down four, four. Are oh, you talking about the other shit? There it is. It's actually kind of finicky. And then you get the same juggle that there and do whatever. <clears throat> Next is down back one plus two. Ah, this move. This used to be a bound move, right? Down back one plus two, two. Maybe not. Uh, it looks like he leans back a bit, so if you were to space this, he might dodge some stuff. It looks like it. Good range on that, too. 21 frame startup, plus eight on hit. Wow. Um...
So this is one of those mid-low strings. First hit, zero on block. Ooh, not bad. Nothing on counter hit though. This is still plus eight with extra damage. But on counter hit, it combos into the left. And the low is basically down two. But no knockdown. But, and uh, it is zero on hit though, it says here, right? Yeah, zero on hit, negative 11 on block. Not bad. I mean, the second hit is a little on the slow side, but it's only negative 11. And if it hits, I'm sure you can't low carry it. something about a forward one it crushes faster than a hop kick a forward one is a pretty good move if you ask just 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 because of that alone that makes it a good move to me I mean even if there's a shitty mid hitbox that that could be ducked like that it crushes very early no tracking on die back one plus two but honestly uh, and it is on the slow side. Mm -hmm. See? That little lean. Alright, not for that. But depending on your space, you can get around jabs with it. Yeah, I know video games. I saw that earlier. <sighs> While standing one for online. <laughs> it's plus 12 on Crouchers. He gets a free fish hook. See? But you could do two one, uh, two four also, cause for whatever reason, I guess in the process of standing up is one frame. It's weird. You can't get a one though, but two has a unique hitbox, I guess. So you get two. Oop. You get two four for more damage, or fish hook for better frames and better spacing. Because that's going to be uh, negative one also. I mean, you know, plus two with the similar spacing. Yeah, you know, you're not going to get a shoulder on that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, dial back up soon. Next, we're going to... I'm going to call it there for now. Next uh, on the list is uh, back moves, back one. That's the next move on the list, right? Let's see. Yeah, back one. That's a biggie. That's the next on the list. A good one to start with next time. And then after back, it's up moves. Up forward, up back. Forward, forward. While standing. Full crouch. Oh, of course. Of course. Johnny Cage. Sidestep moves. Oh boy. Parting cloud, whatever clouds, parting clouds, shifting clouds, shitting clouds, back can pull step, can pull step, quarter circle forward, and then back turn. You got a lot of moves, Feng boy. You got a lot of moves. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks again for the five bucks earlier from, um, shit, who, what was his name? I'm sorry, bro. Uh, hold on, I'll check right now. Does it say his name? Where does it say his name? Zakishi. Thanks again for the five bucks. Zakishi. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Next time my stream is going to be something else. And then, like usual, I'm going to go back and forth. And then I'll continue with thing. 
This, of course, will be uploaded to the YouTube. And uh, that's a wrap. Have a good evening. Fuck, it's hot.